good morning <laughs> here up on the top of the mountain i just uh i was gonna go actually but then i just saw this cloud formation and how it's coming up around this mountain and i thought it just reminded me of how the spirit of god can just come and overwhelm us and and surround us and strengthen us and so before i go back down which i'll be going back down now time is eight o'clock um i thought that that looked pretty good i'll tell you what feels good as well i can feel the cool air there's a cool air coming which feels really nice no doubt to be going down in the clouds in a moment but i want to encourage you to keep truth keep following god keep trusting keep believing the scriptures when i look at the scriptures that seems to be what they tend to be doing a lot of the time, just keeping encouraging and strengthening. And Jesus said that he's the light of the world. Jesus said that if anyone follows him, will no longer walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. And this same light, this same God who created all this beauty behind us, is spectacular. It's the same God that loves you and loves me. So maybe give today's the thought, you know, the Bible said this is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. And, uh, I'm praying that you would be able to rejoice and be glad in this day that the Lord has made. Sometimes, you know, the sicknesses that we wrestle with can, can come from the trauma of the mind, the anxiousness and the fears. And we live in a world where there's enough to be afraid of. And it's like the enemy seems to have control. But you know what? God sees all things. God sees and God knows, and our trust is in him. And even when we make the wrong choices, and phew, I do that, and we have to repent, and I have to repent, and I have to come before God. Hmm. You might not be as bad as I am, and if you're not, that's great. But I want you to know that this God, our God, is a holy God and he sees you and he's gracious and he's compassionate and he's merciful and abounding in love, abounding in love and mercy and compassion. This is our God. And it just as this mountain behind us is just getting touched and kissed by the cloud. Our lives get kissed by the presence of the living God, the Holy Spirit. We need to, we need to connect with God. We need to connect with God. We know where our help comes from, you know, like Psalm 121, and I did that, it seems to be recurring today. I lift my eyes to the mountains, to the hills, where does my help come from? My help comes from the maker of the heavens and the earth, and it does, but sometimes we've got to climb the mountain out of our anxiety and we've got to do the effort we've got to be obedient to god we've got to be hungry and thirsty isaiah 55 whoever's thirsty hungry and thirsty john chapter 7 jesus said is anyone thirsty let him come to me and drink let him come to me and drink and i will within us he puts a well spring of life living waters hey I'll tell you what that's a pretty spectacular video of that isn't it our god who loves you and loves me. <clears throat> Gracious and compassionate. And just like these clouds, kiss the mountain. God wants to kiss your life with his spirit. All you have to do is ask him. Jesus said that he has to go and leave his disciples. Sat there with his disciples and said, guys, listen, I've got to leave you. We don't want you to go, Jesus. Yeah, I know you don't want me to go, but I've got to go because when I go, the Father in heaven will send the Holy Spirit. And it's the Holy Spirit that comes and that embraces us and encourages us and by obedience and faith and belief we come before a living god he is our god he is our lord i'll probably have to watch this video myself to see what's going on behind me but um be encouraged today it's just a short video be lifted up be encouraged you know, I'm up on the top of a mountain. <sighs> Probably the last time I'll come up here this year now. Sunday morning, 2nd of July. 
Eight o'clock, I think. Eight o'clock. I need to go. I also need to pray that I'll have enough fuel to get back because I notice I'm almost on empty. So, so uh, which brings me to another point. Don't wait till you're almost on empty before you get filled with the Spirit. Paul says that we need to go on and keep being filled. Keep being filled, keep being filled. Don't wait until you're almost on empty. How do you know when you're on when you're almost on empty, anxiousness starts to rise up. Fear starts to get hold of you. You lose sight of the King of Kings. You lose sight of where your help comes from. You lose sight of all that God has for you. Don't lose sight. Holy Spirit, would you come and would you fill me tonight, this day? Would you fill me? May the glory of heaven come upon me. And whoever's listening to this video, may you fill them and strengthen them. May the power of the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Father God, Jesus said that if we, are, if we can ask and you will send your Holy Spirit. Would you send your Holy Spirit today? Oh, pulled me neck then because something buzzed me. Would you send your Holy Spirit today? In the name of Jesus. <laughs> Be encouraged. Be blessed. Our God is an awesome God. All creation sings his praise. Yeah. Not bad, that is it. It's absolutely spectacular. Absolutely spectacular. Our God is a powerful, almighty God. And Jesus made it possible that we can have a relationship with him. Don't lose out. Trust him, believe him, follow him. Amen. Father, would you fill us with your spirit? Father, would you fill us with your presence? Father, would you fill us with your anointing? In Jesus' holy name. Amen. God bless you.